Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we will take a look at really cool and advanced looking motion graphic backgrounds in After Effects using a third party plugin called Trap Code Form. So in case if you don't have the plugin, you can download the free trial version from the link in the description below or if you have it, you are good to go. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So as always, let's start by creating a new composition. Let's rename this to Main Comp. Make it 1920 into 1080. Let's make this 30 frames and 10 seconds should be good enough and hit OK. Then let's create a new composition which is going to be our Texture Comp. So let's rename this to Texture and change the width to 20 pixels and height to 150 pixels. 10 seconds and hit OK. Alright, so it's a pretty small looking composition but we're gonna make it look really really cool. So in the texture composition, let's go ahead and start to create our texture. So right click and add a new solid. Let's rename this to form. So let's, I'm just gonna rename it to F for form and hit OK. And let's add trap code form to it. There we go. So it's really simple and easy to set up. So the first thing that I'm gonna wanna do is go into the base form and make sure it's at box grid. And I think it should be default. The default will be at box grid itself. So let's bring down the size of X to one. Let's bring down the size um, Y to 120. Yep, that looks pretty good. Let's, we don't need any Z, you know, size Z. So let's bring this down to zero and bring down the particles in X to one. And Y to let's go with something like 10. Okay, so that is looking really nice. Let's go into particles and let's maybe I'll just increase the size to around. Let's go with, let's try four. Yep, that looks pretty good. We don't need any feathers, so let's bring this down to zero. And yep, that's all we need to do in the particles. And let's go in the fractal field properties and increase the effect opacity to all the way up to 20. So we have a little bit of, you know, opacity animation as you can see. Let's increase the flow X to 70. And one more thing is that you don't need to follow the exact same numbers or the exact same amount. You can always play around with different amount and have fun and, you know, experiment a bit to create some really cool looking effects. So let's increase the flow evolution to 100. And I think that's all we need to do. Let's check out the texture. Yep, that is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll increase the flow in X to around. Let's go with 100. Let's see what we have. Nah, maybe I'll go with 50. Still not good, I think. Let's go with 80. Yep, that is looking um, pretty good. Increase the effect opacity to all around. Let's go with 30. Let's see. Yep, this is looking actually pretty cool. Yep, this is looking pretty cool. So let's go into the main composition. Let's create a new solid for the form. Let's rename this to form. Or let's rename this to dots actually. And hit OK. And add trap code form to it. Also drag in the texture composition. And how we can hide this up. So now we are in the main dots composition or not, not composition, but the dots form effect. So let's go into base form and change the size X to 1920 because that is our composition size. And this to 1080. There we go. Let's increase the size Z to around. Let's go with 2500 and maybe I'll decrease the particles in X to around. Let's try 40. Yep, that is looking good. Let's bring down the particles in Y to around 20. Yep, perfect. 
and maybe I'll, we don't need the particles in z too much so let's bring this down to one I, I, I want this to be really flat something like this and then let's go into the particles we can close the base form and we don't need any feathers so let's bring this down or maybe I can change the practic uh, particle type to textured polygon colorize and in the texture now we are going to use the texture that we created so let's set this from none to texture there we go now at present it's really small so let's increase this up to maybe around let's go with 8 pretty cool and as you can see we have really cool texture animation as well so let's play, play around with some settings maybe I'll increase the size randomness to around 30 okay that is looking pretty good let's bring down the opacity randomness a bit maybe around 20 okay pretty good and we can also give it a color that we want so let's go with I'm gonna go with a blue something like that okay pretty good now what I can do is I can go, go into the fractal field just like we did before and increase the effect opacity all the way up to 50 so now we have a really cool looking background as you can see already looking really really cool maybe increase the flow in X a bit to around 50 as well and then I can increase the gamma to around 2 yep that is looking pretty good maybe I'll set this to 1.5 or something like that okay this is looking pretty cool so the base is done now all I need to do is to create that really cool looking kind of a you know interesting effect I can create a new adjustment layer let's rename this to something like K and I'm gonna add an effect called CC kaleidoscope effect and it's an inbuilt effect and we don't really use this effect too much but it is a really really cool effect when it comes to creating some really cool and complex looking animation so right off the bat we get this really cool looking animation you can always tweak some settings so maybe let's set this from flower to unfold and by the way you can also try different one we have some really cool and different presets here right away here. and maybe I'll just change the rotation to 135 and bam there we have a really cool looking motion graphic background and to make it look really really interesting what I can do is I can duplicate the dots composition so hit ctrl D to duplicate it and let's select the second one let's change the color so we can see it even more properly let's set this to let's set this blue and select the red layer and change the color pretty quick so let's go into particles and change the color to something like a dark pink or something like that and then we can play around with the size so we can also increase the size something like that to around let's go with maybe yep something like that and play around with the base form so you can create something like this as you can see looks really really cool yep that is looking really cool maybe I'll decrease the size a bit to around let's go with 12 and play around with the opacity as well something like that maybe let's go into the fractal field and bring down the effect opacity just something like that and you can see we have some really cool and complex looking animation really really easily so now what I can do is to take it to the next level I can say <laughs> not the next level but to make it look really good what I can do is pre-comp this so let's pre-comp it and let's call this animation hit ok make it 3d let's create a new camera let's go with 50 millimeter lens and we can give a really nice angle something like that to make it look really really cool Some, somewhere around there a little bit more something like that and let's go into animation and let's add a pretty quick background or not the background but an adjustment layer and add some glow to it so let's rename it to G for glow and add glow to this thing maybe increase the glow threshold to around 85 and the radius to around 30 percent something like that let's go into the main comp and we have some really nice glow as you can see and now what I can do is go into camera hit AA turn on the depth of field it's already on and increase the aperture to around 100 and increase the blur to around let's go with something like that 
and let's play around with the focus distance to find a really nice focal point something like that maybe increase the blur a bit more making it really intense let's add a letter box pretty quick so let's create a new solid 3 in which 2 L for letter box hit ok let's turn on the title action safe select the rectangle tool and mask it up just like that drag this point just like that select this once and drag it right over here and invert the mask really simple and easy to create and let's add a little bit of color correction so let's add adjustment layer rename this to cc for color correction and add a curves to it something like that and let's hit ctrl d to duplicate it and this is going to be the vignette rename this to v and reset the curves bring this down just like that and what I can do is, before doing the vignette, let's close this up for now. Add a new background, hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid. Let's rename this to BG for background and hit OK. Drag this below. Oh, drag this below just like that. And add a four color gradient just like that. Let's make this something like darker blue. Something like that. Let's make this black this one black as well and let's make this kind of a red color something like that add a little bit of more character to the complete project as you can see really nice and subtle background now we can turn on the vignette and add some vignette something like that really dark select the ellipse tool double click on it so it's going to create an ellipse like that and invert this up and feather this up just like that you see really really simple and easy to do so it's a really cool and easy way to create some really nice and complex looking but not only backgrounds but you can use this effect in creating some really cool looking animation as you can see right off the bat it is looking really really cool and to make it even more complex all you can do is go into animation add some more dots or you can even duplicate the CC kaleidoscope effect you have a different effect as you can see it's gonna update really quickly and what I can do one more thing is we don't I'm just gonna close this for now I just need one CC collider go into the main com duplicate the animation hit ctrl D to duplicate it and let's drag this below just like that and decrease the opacity to around let's go with 10 maybe and this is going to give us a kind of feel of a reflection maybe it's just too low maybe 15 percent let's you can see this really nice and subtle looking kind of a reflection you know for the complete animation as you can see it gives a little bit more complexity to the complete animation as you can see looks really really cool so that's the complete idea of creating some really nice and advanced looking motion graphic backgrounds in after effects using trap code form so i hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative